Hi, so I'm the area ranger here at Mount Stewart. So it's a thousand acre estate here on the Yards Peninsula. I also cover the Yards Red Squirrel Group, which is a group that covers the whole of the peninsula as a whole, working with private landowners to basically conserve and expand the red squirrel population again. 2010 was the first time grey squirrels arrived on the peninsula. Within five years, we'd seen virtual decimation of the red squirrel population by that point. Here at Mount Street in particular, by 2015, we were down to as little as 10 or 12 left. So it was a make or break moment for, for the red squirrels here on the, on the peninsula. We in the Glen's Red Squirrel Group, we've been operating now for 10 years. Uh, we operate from as far as uh, Glenshess Glentasey in the Valley Castle area, all the way around uh, to Glenarm. We operate a hide. It's one of the only hides in the Causeway Coast and Glen's area for woodland species. Uh, so you have the chance of going in the comfort of a reasonably comfortable hide and watching the birds and wildlife that come to avail of the feed that we put out. Most people think of wildlife hides as little small slits in, in a dark, dank shed. Now this is one of, we wanted this hide to be fully immersive, so we have a full floor to ceiling, windows in it. It's also a way to help people understand that, you know, if you want to see wildlife anywhere, you need to behave in a certain way. So, you know, being quiet, keeping movement slow and steady, and just taking the time to really enjoy the place that you're in. Uh, my name is Aaron Murray um, and I'm a volunteer for the Northwest Red Squirt Group. The grey squirts often now compete the red squirts for, for food. Um, so if you have a population, for example, of 12 or 12 red squirts in a forest, when you bring in grey squirts, it's more competition for the reds. Um, grey squirts can also, they can eat acorns, for example, before they're ripe, so therefore they can get the, the food before the reds can. And I suppose one of the, the quickest ways in which grey squirters can replace red squirters is they have um, a squirt pox virus. The greys actually carry the disease, but they don't suffer from the effects. But the reds do, and they can die within around two weeks of contracting the virus. So it's quite similar to myxomatosis in rabbits. Another aspect of our work is actually grey squirrel control. Uh, we've been doing grey squirrel control now from about 2011. We've seen a need to do so because grey squirrels were actually encroaching into some of the areas that we worked in. We have several sites within Glendon that we operate. Uh, they're not open to the public, but we operate them as scatter, scatter feed sites. That allows us to monitor the ground and it means that you're not putting a feeder up that you would attract maybe red and greys to. When you scatter feed on the ground, it just means the food is out on the ground and animals can come, all animals, uh, mice, birds, everything can come and feed at them. This site has actually got traps at it so that we can do uh, some grey control. We have had an issue in Glendon where somebody is illegally releasing red squirrels into the woodland. So we're, it's a fight and we're fighting a battle here of trying to remove these greys at the moment. So this is one of the live cage traps that we use to trap grey squirrels. So I'll just set it up here. So at the moment they're not set. Um, so that's why we have the stick coming through. So I'll just remove that. Okay, so now the trap is live. So here's the, the base plate. We would bait, usually with maize and peanut butter. So whenever the grey squirrel comes in, they'll move past the stick, or excuse me, the base plate, and that'll close like that. And that is the animal trapped. So we would check, whenever the traps are set, we would check them at least twice a day. Um, because there is a possibility of red squirrels being trapped, but we want to minimise that as um, we want to minimise um, the potential of red squirrels getting into the trap. <laughs>